Since many of us have switched to remote work, webcams have become our ultimate digital life hacks. Unfortunately, most webcams are pointing in one place and we as humans like to move around. And so, when Insta360, a company that I already own a number of their products, such as the awesome One RS and the Go2 Pillcam, released the Link, which is basically a webcam on a gimbal, it really piqued my curiosity and I absolutely had to check it out. So does the 299 Insta360 Link stand up to the quality set by Insta360's other products, or is it all just hype? And how does it compare to the OBS Bot 4K and Opal C1s that I already reviewed on this channel, which are the current kings of pen tilt webcams and image quality? Well, let's find out. Time for a quick unboxing. When we open the box, we find the camera itself and it's packaged really well. We also have the USB cable, some documentation, the whiteboard labels and type A to type C adapter. So let's start with the features uh, and then we'll jump into comparison of the link with the OBS Bot 4K as well as the Opal C1, the top in webcam quality. My use case is mostly video calls from the office with the occasional walk around the space and sitting on the couch at the end of a long day. And that's what I'm going to be testing in this camera. First, let's walk over the features. It has 4K resolution, two focus, high quality HDR. It has AI tracking, so it tracks you when you move around. AI zoom. And I personally love this feature because in theory, it allows me to go and sit on the couch, but in this camera, it feels a little bit too unstable to actually use. It has gesture controls, so you can use palm to tech, L to zoom in and out, and V for whiteboard mode. It also has an overhead mode, which basically shows you what is on your desk. It has portrait mode, privacy mode. It basically shuts down when it's not in use. And it even has a pretty decent microphone. So how does the Insta360 Link compare to the current Kings of webcams? First, we'll compare it to the OBS Bot 4K, which in many ways is very, very similar to the Insta360 Link. However, it's cheaper. It's only 269 without when not on sale. But in many ways, it's actually more similar than different with the uh, Insta360 Link. It has the same palm and L gestures like the Link, and they do exactly the same thing. Palm tracks you around, L zooms in. But unlike the Insta360 Link, it actually comes with a nice travel pouch. Both of them have privacy mode, so when not in use, both of them turn down. I find that the video quality of the OBS Bot 4K is actually better than the Insta360 Link. And the tracking of the OBS Bot is also better than the Insta360 Link. One of the things that I miss the most in the OBS Bot compared to the Link is the AI zoom. However, in my experience, it doesn't work that well on the link either. So it's not a big miss. The OBS Bot 4K is actually $30 cheaper even when not on sale. And when on sale can be picked even less. I think I just saw it for $219. And that's a nice bonus and makes it even easier to recommend that. I have recently done a review of the OBS Bot 4K and you can check out this review over here. All right, so how does the link compare to the Opal C1? which I also reviewed not that long ago. And even though there's a number of things of the Opal C1 I didn't like, uh, like for example, the invite only system, it still has the best video quality of any webcam I ever tried. And while the Opal C1 cannot track you around the room, because it has such a high resolution sensor and it has a built-in AI tracking, it can actually keep you in the middle of the frame when you walk around or move around while as long as you are in front of the camera. It doesn't have an automatic privacy mode, but it does have a cover that you can cover the lens with. It has awesome sound and, as I already mentioned, the best audio quality of any webcam I tried so far. It also has a beautiful bokeh, which can blur your background and make it even nicer. In conclusion, while I love Insta360 as a company, unless you absolutely need the desk view or whiteboard view, I would go with the OBS Bot 4K. It's cheaper, it has a better image in my opinion, and it has better tracking. And it's more available and more in stock. My only wish is that OBS Bot would add the AI zoom to the camera, but other than that, 
It's pretty perfect and is cheaper than the Link. If you absolutely love the wide world feature, sure, go ahead with the Insta360 Link. Just make sure you wait for a sale. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching this review as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're new here, I'm David Tabachnikov and I build and review all kinds of gadgets and apps on this channel that help you automate and optimize your digital life. I call them digital life hacks. If this is something you're interested in, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like so the algorithm will know to show this video to more people. That's it and see you in the next one.